Hey, greetings. I wanted to give you a quick review of two tourniquet cases that are on the market today. This is a $38 pouch by 1110 Gear. It's made from injection molded plastic. This is an $18 pouch uh, made out of canvas from North American Rescue, and they're both designed to hold the CAT or Combat Application Tourniquet, which is a really, really popular tourniquet out there. I think protecting your tourniquet is a great idea. I see a lot of guys running their tourniquets just bare, strapped to their rifle slings or strapped to their gear with rubber bands. I really think that's a bad idea because you don't want to do anything to pre-stress this tourniquet. You want to make sure that all the hook and loop stays fresh, no dust or dirt in it, and even that UV light isn't coming here and degrading any of the materials that the tourniquet are made out of. So I think it's cool and both of these are viable solutions. I do have a strong preference for one of them and I'll tell you why in just a second. So the construction I kind of went through here, you'll notice that the 1110 gear pouch has a one by one hook and loop area on the front. So you can customize it with any patch type that you want. It does come with this medical patch. It attaches on the back here with a malice clip. And you'll notice that there are a couple of drainage holes in it. Unfortunately, they didn't drill one on the bottom. It is a two piece design, but it's not clear to me if water would drain very, very well out of this guy. And you'll notice again that the 1110 gear case leaves the entire top part, this the tourniquet lock and the upper part of the windlass and even some of the strap unprotected. So a cool feature, one of the reasons that I like the North American Rescue Pouch better is that it does protect the top of the tourniquet. Okay, maybe one extra step in deployment, but this is doesn't require very much force at all. It also attaches to Molly gear with this simple snap here, and you do have the ability here to re-weave into the pouch so you can get a, a tighter weave on your Molly with this guy here. Pretty simple, they were able to put a drainage hole on the bottom, which I, which I think is a good idea. All right, we've talked about attachment, we've talked about features, now let's talk about retention for a second. So it basically takes no force to insert or even to remove a cat tourniquet from the North American Rescue Pouch. I really like that. And it, it's definitely secure enough to where, even if I'm hanging upside down, I don't think the tourniquet will come out, especially with this top piece on it. Now here's the thing that I really dislike about the 1110 gear tourniquet case. So it, it's beautiful construction. I, I really wanted to like this. But when I first got this case, I took a fresh cat tourniquet and I had to use 30 or 40 pounds of force just to get that tourniquet into this case. And so the reason I really dislike that, you'll notice as I start to withdraw this, which takes about 15 pounds of force, maybe about 10 pounds of force, after it's been in here for two weeks. So after two weeks, your tourniquet will kind of compress down and this becomes you know, less of a tight fit. But out of the box, extremely, extremely tight fit. And the bad thing about that is, is as you're pulling your tourniquet out or as you're pushing it in, you're pre-stressing all these components. And I don't know if you can see here, this is the windlass here that you use to actually clamp the tourniquet down. This strap just gets beat up as you move it in and out. And I'm sorry, but I don't want a tourniquet pouch that is supposed to protect my tourniquet to beat up and pre-stress any of my components, personal opinion. So I really like this tourniquet case. Uh, I think a lot of people will buy it and be happy with it, but I think they can do a much better design. And here's what I'd like to see them improve. So the first thing is instead of making this two fixed pieces, I would like to have it two articulating pieces. So they could use some kind of rubber band or ranger band system here, as you may have seen with the fast mag pouches, if you guys are familiar with that, and make it so that these pieces give a little bit or just increase the tolerances and make this, you know, give this guy a little more space and breathing room. The nice thing about a rubber band system is that it's dynamic and it will, you know, of course, all these tourniquets are manufactured the same, but people pack them differently and are going to want to pack them to different heights. So a nice expandable two piece articulating system and then something to protect the, the top part of the tourniquet. It is really important to protect this lock and also to protect this hook and loop as well. If you're going to invest in protecting your tourniquet from dust in the elements, I don't see why you wouldn't go all the way, a lot like the North American Rescue and cover the top of the, the tourniquet as well. The last thing that I think the 1110 designer should look at is the stress points. And so I'm starting to withdraw this tourniquet here and they should figure out a way of, of doing this molding so that, that you don't beat up this strap here. Okay, so that was everything that I wanted to say about both these tourniquets. I think they're both viable options. However, once you consider price, and once you consider the amount of force required to insert and potentially to remove the tourniquet from the 1110 gear case, I think the North American Rescue pouch takes the cake. Thanks for watching.